tunnel like a football team. He's got that kind of mentality, and there's plenty of running room here in this venue. It's the open field of the Grand Ballroom. He's got people like Jimmy Thunder, Tony Tucker, Carla Truth Williams on his hit list, but more recently, Jerry Ballard, Mario Pauly, Fernley Feliz, and Tom Williams. Not exactly household names. Looking to erase the embarrassment of the 19-second KO loss to Tua in 96. He's 11-0 with 10 knockouts since. KO'd the last six. But I'll tell you, Bobby, the one previous time Ruiz stepped up in opposition, he was obliterated by Tua. Why should we think it won't happen again? Perhaps not as emphatically. And how can we truly tell how improved he is since based on his level of opposition? Well, for starters, Holyfield is not the puncher that Tua is. Tua is 240-plus pounds. Ruiz is not giving away that kind of weight. Ruiz has the age factor on his side. And again, Holyfield's not a big puncher. Styles make fights. And I'll tell you what, in this fight, if Ruiz can hold his own for the first few rounds, he can set it up. And what he needs to do is really step up, or the ghost of David Tua will continue to haunt him. And here is Evander, the real deal, Holyfield. Brave, legendary champion. Classic overachiever. be detrimental to his health he says he's stronger but not as quick the always spiritual Evander Holyfield hearing it from the crowd three-time heavyweight champion inactive about 10 months making the long walk to the ring of many fans, the media, is this a catch-22? I mean, if Holyfield wins, people will say he was fed the title on a silver platter. If Ruiz wins, it's because Holyfield is shot. Is that a fair assessment? Well, in many people's eyes, Steve, that's going to be a fair assessment, but Lennox Lewis didn't defend against Ruiz and he was supposed to, so that title becomes up for grabs because he was, the judge made him relinquish it. Now, John Ruiz can lay claim to being in a position here by his ranking. Vander Holyfield was just beaten by Lewis twice. So that just doesn't make sense. We've seen evidence of ring erosion and deterioration. One more question. How many times can Holyfield go to the well and come up big? You know, Steve, only really Vander Holyfield, his doctor, his trainer, and his people, his handlers, they know. They know what they've seen in the gym. He knows what he feels on the inside. Some people can do it. George Foreman took over a decade, came back, and dug deep and found water. All right, we size them up. Let's go to the tail of the tape. The biggest disparity in age, Holyfield nearly a decade older than Ruiz, almost exactly the same height, reaches even. Holyfield career heaviest, 221, 224 for Ruiz, down seven from his last fight. And the key rules for this WBA title fight, no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. If an accidental headbutt occurs before the end of the fourth, it's ruled a no contest. If it happens after the end of round four, they go to the scorecard. So here at the Grand Ballroom in Las Vegas, getting ready for our main event. Looks like a sellout crowd of around 9,000 on hand for Holyfield Ruiz, vacant WBA heavyweight title. The official introductions from our ring announcer, the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Paris, Las Vegas, Resort in 
Grand Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada, as it's time for our featured bout of the evening, brought to you by Don King Productions in association with Showtime Championship Boxing, Paris, Las Vegas, and Budweiser, the undisputed king of beers. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the World Boxing Association, the President Gilberto Mendoza, Supervisor Carlos Chavez, along with the Nevada State Athletic Commission, the Chairman is Dr. Elias Ghanem, Commissioners Amy Ayub, Glenn Carano, Dr. Flip Pomansky, and Dr. Luther Mack, the Executive Director is Mark Ratner. Our three judges scoring this bout from ringside, from Las Vegas, Nevada, Dwayne Ford. Also from Las Vegas, Dave Moretti, and from La Vencia, Venezuela, Fernando Viso. And introducing the third man of the ring, our referee in charge of this bout, Richard Steele. All right, fans, here we go with our main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBA Heavyweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Paris, Las Vegas, it's showtime! <laughs> Introducing to you first, ladies and gentlemen, on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, ready to fight, wearing black trunks, hailing from Chelsea, Massachusetts, by way of Savannah Grande, Puerto Rico. His weight, 224 pounds. His record stands at 36 wins, three losses, with 27 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, he is making his first bid for a world title, also attempting to become the very first Latino heavyweight world champion, introducing the WBA number one ranked heavyweight contender known as the Quiet Man. Here is John Ruiz. And his opponent across the ring, on my left, fighting out of the red corner, really needing no introduction the world over, wearing red trunks with silver trim, fighting out of and representing his hometown of Atlanta, Georgia. He weighed in at 221 pounds with a record of 36 wins, four losses and one draw. He has 25 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, he makes an historic bid to become the first man to win a heavyweight title four times. Here is the former undisputed cruiserweight world champion, the former undisputed heavyweight world champion, and the current WBA number two ranked heavyweight in the world. Please welcome one of boxing's great warriors, introducing Evander, the real deal. Once again, a referee in charge, Richard Steele, now to give instructions, 12 rounds of championship boxing schedule. Okay, you guys, I spoke to both of you in your dressing room. I'm cautioning again, obey my commands at all times. I see both of you made moves, so that's great. That's anything below, anything below, anything below, it will be a low blow, okay? Any questions? Shake hands and good luck. You can make an argument Holyfield's offense was better and busier his last fight, the rematch with Lennox Lewis. Which Holyfield will we see tonight? A more active, aggressive one or a slower, less energetic one? John Ruiz, look at He's ready to pounce out. Usually starts fast. Aggressive, straight-ahead fighter. Not much side-to-side. -side. Has power. Best weapon, left hook, right uppercut combination. Here we go. Steve, the first two rounds of this fight is the monster. The guy that sets the tone, as Ruiz is trying to do, Gets the play. Ruiz immediately digging to the ribs of Holyfield. No one great. Step back, step back. Ruiz did come out fast. <laughs> Ruiz sticking the jab, landing the rights and lefts, going to the body. Ruiz is working right, that right hand to the body an awful lot very out. early. He said he needed to throw a barrage. To smother Holyfield with combinations. But the key to establish the jab. 
He said he had to watch out for Holyfield's left, left hook, and Holyfield right now is just 